What's up, fam? Taylor Local Trucker here. I wasn't going to do a video today, man, but I got some things on my mind that I just wanted to address, share with y'all real quick, man. You know, as you already know, if you watching the channel, man, I work for U.S. Foods, food service delivery company, man. Work Monday through Friday, no weekends, no nights, all right? Day in and day out, man, whether it's in the comment section or if I'm out here on the route, I got people always asking me, or the first thing they ask me, rather, when it comes to working for U.S. Foods is, you know, how much, how much money you make? How much they pay? And, you know, I kind of give them a rough estimate on what the pay is. And they be like, oh, all right, cool, 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 man. I appreciate that. So lately I've been wondering, man, is that all people want to know these days? Is the only thing that concerns a driver is what the pay is? I get it. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I really get it. It's hard out here. The economy is super tough. Inflation is through the roof. Gas prices through the roof. I remember you used to get a little Debbie cake for 25, 50 cent. It's over two dollars some change now. I get it. I promise you I do. But y'all, let me tell you, man. If the only thing that matters to you is the money, then you might as well not even get started in trucking. Because there's so much more to it. There's so much more to it, man, that can make or break you. There's so much more to it that can keep you at a job. I don't have nobody asking me, oh, what's the schedule like? Do you work nights? Do you work on weekends? Do you have to work weekends? Do you work holidays? Do you lay over? Are you ever sleeping at a truck stop? I don't have nobody ever asking those kind of questions. I don't have nobody asking me what the benefits is like. Do you have home time at all? Do you have to travel out of state? And I understand, man, I, I talk about it being local and I talk about my schedule and things about that, like that on the channel. But I'm talking about, man, most of the time these questions or the question about money is asked to me in person. You guys want what we are out here giving our blood, sweat, and tears for, man. Six figures, I know that's the goal. Hell, really, seven figures on up is truly the goal for a lot of us, man. But six figures is a good benchmark. But it ain't the easiest thing to come by. And don't nobody want to put in no work no more, man. Everybody want it so fast, so quick, so easy. They wanted to fall right on their lap. And that ain't cool. Ain't nobody concerned about what the job actually entails. They just want to know how much we make it. And once they find out that you got to touch some freight, oh, that's not enough money for me. But I thought you wanted to make six figures, though. How is touching some freight enough to break you? If that's what it takes, then don't get started. You might as well quit before you get started. And I'm not trying to be a narcissist or pessimistic or any of those, you know, negative connotations that's out there, man. I'm just being real about it. There's so much more to trucking than just the money, man. I know a guy right now who works for U.S. Foods looking to find something else. He had an interview and no, he's not one of my coworkers. He had a quick little phone interview with a company. And the lady asked him, was a certain amount of um, drive time commute doable for him? He said it all depends on the start time. That let me know right there, it ain't the money that he valuing. He trying to value getting some of his time back because U.S. Foods take up a lot of time. So he wants to know, what time will I be starting? Because I need to know, am I going to be able to get enough rest at night? So if we starting at 5, 6, 7 o'clock in the morning, then cool. If we starting at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, I can't do it. That's what he told me. He said, Tay, if we starting super early, I can't do that. I value getting some rest. I need to start getting some of my time back. A lot of you cats, man, y'all ain't thinking about that. Ain't nobody asking about what the home time is when they looking at some of these trucking companies. Then you got some of y'all, man, who, who's who's saying 
oh, I want to be local, I want to be local, I want to be local. But ain't but so many companies out there that's going to hire you with no experience fresh out of school, right? So the ones that will require you to do some physical labor, and you don't want to do that either. And you don't want to go over the road. You don't want to be regional. So what is it do you want? Because in this game, you got to pay your dues, baby. In order to make money, you got to sacrifice. And if you ain't willing to sacrifice, you ain't going to get nothing for nothing, baby. It ain't happening. So y'all need to really start considering what it is you want out here, man. Because what you're going to end up doing, you're going to end up wasting your time. You're going to end up wasting your family's time. You're going to end up wasting a company's time and money because it costs a lot to onboard, orientate, and then train anybody in any profession, especially trucking. Then you're going to waste a trainer's time. Then you're going to get out here, you stuck because you can't find nothing else, or you're looking for something else, and you're miserable. So you're going to mess around, you're going to get hurt, or you're going to hurt somebody. Do your research, y'all. Do your daggone research. It ain't hard. Information is knowledge. We got a wealth of information all around us. YouTube, Google, Reddit, you name it. Man, it's nothing to get on Google, type in a question, and pop up a thousand plus answers on what you're looking for. Y'all got to start doing y'all research, man. I understand. Money is important. It is important very important it's the difference between struggling and being comfortable but that can't be the first and only question you ask somebody is how much am I going to get paid y'all making it hard for these companies to want to hire people especially with how the economy is y'all wonder why turnover is so high because people ain't willing to endure what they need to endure to get to where they want to be that's why turnover is so high I'm only 34 years old. I'm pretty young myself. But we got a lot of young cats out here, man, that think they can get it so quick. And it just don't work like that. Y'all need to do y'all research, man. The last question you should be asking is how much am I going to get paid? You need to start figuring out what your schedule is going to be like, what your benefits going to be like. Will you get any home time depending on if you OTR or regional? Do you want to touch freight? Do you not want to touch freight? If you want to go flatbed, you know, some companies don't do no tarping. You know, those are things you need to be asking if you want to get in the trucking game. Because for every 10 people that get their CDL, eight of them don't make it past a year. And I got those statistics from my instructor, so it could be skewed. But anyway, man, that's enough of my driving rant for the day. I'm Taylor Luckle Trucker. Tuesday ride complete. Hit the like button if you don't mind. Drop a comment in the comment section if you want to voice your opinion with me. Please consider subscribing. And we going home. We out.